Today we're in sauna restaurant Kuma here in Laukentori in the heart of Tampere. It's a popular place with students to get the sauna and swimming experience and it's only a few steps from the bar to the sauna and swimming pool. Today we're going to be meeting Carlos Gomez. He's studying international business at TAMC. He's from Mexico and he's been living here for four years. Let's go. Hi Carlos, great to meet you today. Thanks for coming to talk to us about your experiences of living in Tampere. Hello Nick, uh, nice meeting you. It's a great honor to be here. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. So first of all, let's start with your journey here. So what made you decide to come and study in Tampere? Tell us about the journey. The, well, the whole, the whole journey dates back to uh, 2014 when I, when I was an exchange student in here. Uh, originally, I'm from Mexico, but I came to Icaolinen. It's 40 minutes, uh, around 40 minutes from here, from Tampere. Mm. And uh, yeah, the, this was the closest city and I just fall in love with it. Uh, after that, a year passed. Uh, I returned to Mexico. I ended up uh, high school. And then afterwards, I decided, hey, I want to come back. Okay, that's great to hear. Great to hear. And I hear some good news. So you graduated in December. And after that, you found work here in Tampere, so I hear. Yes, you have heard right, correctly. I graduated last December 31st, and it was such a journey. I started my thesis process in August. Okay. And aside from that, I wanted to find like a meaningful work that I could do while writing my thesis. And I found it. Uh, I joined Pop Sockets uh, right. in the, be the beginning of October, yeah. and Pop Sockets they do pop grips. Uh, mm. They are a consumer goods company based in Colorado and the USA. Mm. They have offices here in Tampere. Uh, this was a customer service kind mm. of role. Mm. I got to use my finished skills as well, you know, chatting in the office, and yeah, it, it was a great experience. Yeah. Okay, so that was that was a, a really interesting thing to hear about how you got into uh, your your job. Uh, how did you find the working culture? Was there a Finnish flavor to it? Was it international? Or? Uh, well, let me tell you something, Nick. Uh, at Pop Sockets, we we had a really international environment. Uh, half of the office is, is international are international individuals, mm -hmm. and it's really really cool environment. Uh, really growth and really there's a fun flavor to it because mm. half the other half, uh, they're nationals and they're willingly, you know, speaking to you in English, of course. But when I first arrived, uh, of course, I put in my resume that I and that I spoke a little bit of Finnish and, and they took chance of it and yeah. they just asked me everything in Finnish. And I was surprised, but at the same time, I embraced the challenge and I you, you know, talk a few sentences with, with them. Mm. And it was really, really nice. Uh, of course, this is not my first time dealing with, with Finnish work. Uh, let me tell you something. In the beginning of my studies, uh, I've been studying for four years and I wanted that Finnish work experience as soon as mm. possible. Mm. So what I did was that I started looking for jobs right away, uh, focusing more into the customer service area uh, in the restaurant world. Right. And actually, we're filming in Sauna Kuma Ravendola. Yep. And in this restaurant, in this very restaurant, I applied to be a bartender. Okay. I, you could find me behind the counter, uh, well, doing some, some uh, dishes, or then uh, 
doing even some drinks, pouring some beers, and getting to know the Finnish culture. Um, it was it was such a good experience. I That's mean, great. our managers, they were really nice uh, to all of us, and their environment was just delightful. This was over the summer, of course. Yeah. Now the view is a little bit different, but over the summer, it was like 28 degrees, wow. uh, a lot of people just enjoying summer and enjoying this uh, this vibe. And of course, it was really nice to serve people in English, of course, mm. but then also in Finnish. That's great. You, know, you can great. interact really well with the customer uh, in Finnish and they really value it. So joining the workforce in Finland from the very beginning, uh, I think that's exactly what, you know, enables you to to develop further your yeah. skills with Finnish language or any other customer service role. That's really great to hear. So almost jumping in at the deep end, no no jokes or puns intended with the sauna <laughs> restaurant we're at, but uh, a good way to get get uh, immersed in Finnish culture and, and as you say, to develop the language skills, particularly in a f customer facing role, I guess you don't have much choice there, so yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it is important to always uh, keep in mind that uh, if you don't understand something, it is okay to ask and it yeah. is okay to make mistakes. And most of the times the client will even, you know, help you. That's terrific, terrific. I'm really interested, how did you take the step from uh, student to thesis work to the world of business? What, what, what did that involve for you? Well, that is a really interesting question, Nick. Uh, well, let me tell you something. When I started my thesis, my, advice, my advisor recommended to uh, really put in practice what I have what I have learned in university mm. and my background is e-commerce and right. entrepreneurship mm. and within the e-commerce world I found PopSocket had 12 different websites and they run a e-commerce uh, within Amazon and their own shops right. and I was really interested in that so at the same time while I was applying to that job I applied to be a volunteer at Slush. Slush is this crazy big startup uh, yeah. volunteer event yeah. that is the greatest in, I would say, the whole world. Right. Um, best technology. And it was really interested, uh, interesting hmm. to, to be part of something bigger. So I applied to be a volunteer. And while I was at it, I had the opportunity to join PopSockets hmm. and to really put in practice what I have learned about, well, technology, e-commerce, and entrepreneurship. Okay, that is a textbook story. It, it's really nice to hear that uh, the voluntary work path worked for you. That's great stuff. And interestingly enough, I'm getting a lot of customers for the Talent Advisor service interested in e-commerce. So after this interview, let's have a chat about those customers and see if you can help them as well. You never know. Sure so, thing, sure thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm willingly... Uh, of course, advice. Great, great stuff. All right, so Carlos, once you graduated, what made you decide to stay here in lovely Tampere? Well, first of all, uh, when I graduated, I was still working at PopSockets mm. and I had this full-time job and I was just enjoying it so much, mm. very, very much. And I have growth uh, ambitions towards mm. the business life here. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know, there's something really vibrant about mm. this city in particular. Uh, and I see myself growing towards this, growing towards the business life, yeah. including tampering in my plans. Uh, it's, it's big, but it's cozy. It embraces you as well. And it gives you the right opportunities with the right people. And it is a great way to also immerse into Finnish culture. I think what is making me stay here in Tampere is the large opportunity with, with Finnish, Finnish uh, CEOs, Finnish uh, business owners, mm -hmm. that they're seeking for international uh, talent and they are recruiting constantly. And I think uh, in terms of growth and personal development, I think it's the right choice to 
to keep grinding in here. That's great, great to hear. Yeah, I think as a, a fast expanding city, Tampere has to, a lot to offer in terms of business and of course employment opportunities. But as you say, somehow manages to keep that cozy feeling as well, which is nice. Definitely, and so far, e even if uh, you don't feel comfortable in, in an industry, uh, every industry is, is lovely. Mm. Every industry has its own perks and on challenges. But I think Tampere offers like a wide range of opportunities for internationals and for, of course, natives to immerse into the working life mm -hmm. while they're still studying so that they can even put in practice what they're learning so far. And there's a lot of summer internships going on and I have been applying for a few. I, I'm thinking on mastering my e-commerce uh, knowledge okay. to, to a wider level and also bring customers uh, to the right product. I, I think that's what gets me going. Mm -hmm. uh, and sales. Sales is, is something that I'm also, it's close to my heart. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, connecting products with, with the right people, it's, it's uh, great. All right, one more thing. So uh, as we know, Tampere is a, a, a great city with a great cultural and entertainment vibe. What do you like to do to chill out, relax, have fun in, in our lovely city? Well, uh, that, is a, that is a nice question. Actually, well, as you know, Tampere is, is growing bigger and bigger and there's a lot of sports going around. There's winter sports and there's uh, tennis, there is paddle, there is uh, bowling. There is a lot of stuff to do around here. I consider myself uh, a competitive person and I'm always like challenging my friends to different activities or then we organize other not really competitive uh, kind of events, activities such as movie nights or walking around and you know they're my support system and I think that's uh, that's really important to mention that doing something uh, well together with your friends yeah. or your work friends it is uh, it makes it so much more beautiful uh, the whole experience of being a student uh, being in this vibrant city yeah. and of course sometimes we come here we come here have a drink have a hot cocoa or, or as as Finns would would say mintu cacao okay that sounds delicious i'm not exactly sure what it is but you also mentioned the uh, social networks and that's vital i think for successfully integrating mm -hmm. into any uh, foreign society so that's great to hear yeah it is i mean networking it's a really important part of my of my life mm -hmm. i guess in mexico of course, it's, it's, it's big everywhere, but I think in Mexico, it, it's all about connections as well. And to my, to my taste, here in Finland, it's the same. Uh, it is important for students to network really with, with uh, through LinkedIn, through events, through festivals, through volunteer opportunities. And yeah, I think that is the key to to succeed to find a job to find an internship and even to find new friends uh, that you will later consider as as family that's great to hear carlos thanks very much again for coming to talk to us some great experiences and stories of your journey here in Tampere. thanks again thank you for having me nick it was a pleasure